these hot temperatures you're seeing in Alaska are pretty incredible, really. Not only is it due to have its, its highest ever temperature on record, uh, but that record could be broken again in the coming days. So that's really serious, not only hitting it once, but potentially a second and a third time. And this has been mirrored as well by extreme temperatures across other parts of the northern hemisphere. We had this last summer and it was reflected on as a period of a real you know, climate change taking hold. And it's quite worrying that we're seeing this on, on, on both sides of the Atlantic for a second summer in succession. So this is perhaps another sign of global warming? It's difficult to suggest that all of it is down to global warming. Um, there are many factors at play with when it comes to weather. But as the Earth warms, so the temperature of the seas and oceans rises as well. And that's associated with extreme heat that we're seeing. And around Alaska at the moment, the, the seawater is a particularly high temperature, which is a part of the reason why um, there's this very high temperature in the air around the coast as well. Well, these extreme temperatures come after a record dry month of June for Alaska. So will that pose particular problems for a state which is normally you know, used to dealing with extreme cold? Yeah, um, there's issues, there's a couple of issues really. I think one of them is there's always a risk of a fire when you have these high temperatures. Um, but also Alaska, as you pointed out, is, is a, a region that's more used to cold weather. So having housing that's designed to hold heat is very problematic when we have these extreme temperatures. And that's something that we've seen in northern Europe as well. We struggle with that here in the United Kingdom, but it's something that's happening to Alaska. It's probably even more alarming due to its geographic location and where it sits in the world and how we expect temperatures to be in a place such as that.